Hello, this is quadratic expression lesson two. In this, we will learn how to calculate maximum or minimum value of any quadratic expression. Now, this quadratic expression is different from quadratic equation. When I say that ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero, this is a quadratic equation because this is equals to zero, and we can't have a maximum or minimum value of equation because equation itself means equals to something. So we have whenever we say maximum or minimum value, we are calculating the maximum or minimum value depending upon certain uh, co coefficient a, b, c, a x square plus b x plus. This is the quadratic expression. You can say this is quadratic expression, or you can say that this is quadratic polynomial. And we have to find the maximum or minimum value of this quadratic polynomial, and this will depend on. The constants that is a, b, and c. Let's determine the most important and logical way to calculate maximum or minimum value of quadratic expression. The best method, or without formula, if you want to do this, without formula, if you want to calculate the maximum or minimum value of any quadratic expression, this is to make a perfect square. We will make perfect square. and then we will calculate the maximum or minimum value of any quadratic expression now let's suppose we want to calculate the maximum or minimum value x square minus 4x plus 8 we want to calculate uh, which the both of the maximum and minimum value of this quadratic expression x square minus 4x plus 8 i told you the perfect square method now perfect square is a plus minus b whole square what is this a plus minus b whole square this is a square Plus b square plus minus two ab. Now, this is what we need to use. So we will make a perfect square here. So in order to make a perfect square, two ab is very important, crucial part of this. Two ab. We have to search where we can find two ab. Can I say I can write like this? This is two into two into x plus eight. So any any time I want to I make a any quadratic expression a perfect square. I need to search two ab where I can find two ab. Now can I say this is two? Can I say this is a and this is b? So here it's my two ab. If I found two ab, I need to search whether I have a square plus b square. Now a square is there. A square would be four, and b square would be x square. I have already b square. I have b square. I'm making making tick mark. I got two ab. I have a b square. B square means x square, but I don't have the a square. What I will do? I will make use of this eight. So what I will do? I will write like this: x square minus two into two into x plus four plus four. I will break this eight as four and four. Now you can see that this. Now I have this is a this is b, so I have two ab as well as I have b square. This is b square, so this is a square, and this is b square. So I have a square plus b square minus two ab. That will make a perfect square. Can I say that this is equals to x minus two whole square? Or you can say that two minus x whole square, same thing. X minus two whole square. This will be x square plus four minus four x plus four. So this is the way to cal calculate the perfect square. So x minus two whole square plus four. So what I will left with? Can I say that my quadratic expression x square minus four x plus eight is same as X minus two square plus four. Now this is the very important and logical way to calculate the maximum and minimum value of any quadratic expression. You make you have to make a perfect square. Now we have made a perfect square. Now by applying the common sense, we can calculate the maximum or minimum value of this quadratic expression. Now you can see that uh, first I will found the maximum value. Now you can see that square can have 
very large value. For example, if I put x is equal to 10, what I will let with 10 minus 2, 8 square plus 4. If I put x is equal to 100, if I put x is equal to 10, let's say I want to calculate the maximum. If I, were, I will put x is equal to 10, what I will get? This is 10 minus 2, 8 square plus 4. If I put x is equal to 100, what I will get? 100 minus 2, 98 square plus 4. If I put x is equal to 10 to power 10, then I will get 10 power 10 minus 2 power minus 2 whole square plus 4. We can have as many large value as we want. So can I say I can't determine the maximum value of this quadratic expression. So maximum value will be approximately infinity. You can't determine CBD cannot be determined or you can say that maximum value will be infinite. If I put x value of x as 1 crore. So what will be the value of this expression 1 crore minus 2 whole square plus 4. So simply I can't determine the maximum value of this quadratic expression. Now what about the minimum value? I have this x minus 2 whole square plus 4. Now look at this square. This square cannot have a negative value but it can be 0. We can make it 0. This perfect square cannot have a negative value. It will always be positive or minimum to minimum we can make the perfect square is 0. So that what will we make and we will calculate the minimum value. So minimum value of this quadratic expression will be 4 when x is equal to 2. So whenever x is equal to 2 this becomes 0. 2 minus 2 whole square is 0 and you will be left with only 4. So the 4 is the minimum value of this quadratic expression x square minus 4x plus 8. So that's how we can calculate the minimum or maximum value. So maximum value for this quadratic uh, expression is infinite or you can see that cannot be determined. Minimum value of this quadratic expression is 4 when you make the, the perfect square 0 that is at x is equal to 2. So minimum value will come at x is equal to 2 and minimum value will be 4. Now you should try to find the maximum or minimum value of this quadratic expression. Now you should pause the video, try to solve yourself by using a perfect square method. Now I am solving this. Again the minus is there in the x. So what we will do, we will take minus common. So we will left with x square minus 5x plus 9. This is the new quadratic equation expression I am left with. Now I will make a perfect square. Perfect square is always in the form of a square plus b square plus minus 2ab. So this I will make here 2 is not there. So I will construct 2. How this is 2 into 5 by 2 into x. This is how you need to construct 2. So I got the form 2ab. Can I say that this is equals to my 2. This is a and this is b. So now this is 2ab form I got. Anytime I need to make a perfect square, I first search for 2ab. Now I have made 2ab. I need to find a square plus b square. Now a square I already have. This is the a square. So I, I have a square minus 2ab. I only need b square. What will be b? b is 5 by 2 and b square would be 5 by 2 whole square. So what I will do? I will add and subtract this. So 2 into 5 by 2 into x plus 5 by 2 whole square plus 9 minus 5 by 2 whole square. So what I have done, I have added 5 by 2 whole square and I have subtracted 5 by 2 whole square. Now I have a square plus b square plus minus 2ab. You can see that this is that was my a, this is my a, this is my b, this is my a square and this is my b square. So a square plus b square minus 2ab I have and that will make a perfect square. So what I will have to do is minus this is x minus 5 by 2 whole square because this is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So this is x minus 5 by 2 whole square plus 9 minus 25 by 4 that is I left with and this is like this. Now uh, take the open the bracket this is minus x minus 5 by 2 whole square minus 9 minus 25 by 4 if you solve this you will get it will become plus so it will become minus if you open the bracket this is minus 
9 for the 36 minus 25, 11 by 4. So this is I left with minus x minus 5 by 2 whole square minus 11 by 4. Now this is, can I, now I will find the maximum or minimum value of this. Now can I find the minimum value of this? What will be the minimum value of this? I can simply say that minimum value will be, cannot be determined on minus infinity. Why so? Because let's say if I put x is equals to let's say 100. So what I will get? 100 minus 5 by 2 whole square. Outside there is a minus minus 11 by 4. And that will be very large negative value. If I put x is equals to let's say 10, 10 million. If I put x is equals to 10 million. So this will be 10 million that is 10 power 10 into 10 million means, we, means 10 power 7 minus 5 by 2 whole square whole outside there is a negative minus 11 by 4. So uh, as you put the larger values of x the overall value of expression become more and more negative. So maximum minimum value will be minus infinity or you can say that cannot be determined. It will be large negative value or you can say that it is minus infinite or cannot be determined CBD. So what we can have we can have a maximum value of this. For maximum value we will make this negative part 0 because you can see that put any value of x this will perfect square is always positive outside there is a negative so overall value will be negative because this perfect square will be positive outside we have negative so overall multiplication will be negative overall multiplication will be negative so in order to calculate the maximum value of this quadratic expression I need to remove this negative part then only I will get the maximum value. So in order to remove the negative part I will make this negative part 0. So maximum value will be minus 11 by 4 at x is equals to 5 by 2 because at x is equals to 5 by 2 this expression will become 0 because 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 square is 0 square is 0 and that will not create any negative more negative values. So the maximum value of this quadratic expression will be minus 11 by 4 at x is equals to 5 by 2. That's how we used to calculate the maximum and minimum value of quadratic expression using the perfect square method. That was all about this lesson. In next lesson I will continue with more on maximum and minimum value of quadratic expression. There I will let you know uh, how to calculate the maximum or minimum value of quadratic expression using a formula that will make uh, this uh, this kind of question very easy for you thank you